Hello friends. Well, I turned 49. This was, well, last month. <laughs> and uh, my family got me a, a whip. This is, I used to have a whip when I was just a teenager. I loved it. It was so much fun. And now many, many decades later, I'm coming back to it and trying to pick it up as an art form. I love the idea of a whip. It's kind of an adventuring, oh, self-defense tool. And part of that is that I prefer things that, you know me, that don't have to be lethal. Now, a gun doesn't have to be lethal. You can shoot it into the air or near somebody. But if you actually use it on somebody, you're going to hurt them, whether it's a person or an animal, really badly. And you know, I'm coming from the experience of having had all kinds of run-ins with people and creatures. Domestic dogs are a common one in the woods. And I've never had to use anything except my hands or my feet. I usually have a knife on me. But a whip gives this extra sense of, well, you can crack it. It can be almost like a gun-like sound that can scare away most animals and deter humans. And if you whip somebody with it, it's quite a bit of pain. It doesn't do actual damage unless you'd hit somebody in the face or something like that but it creates a lot of pain and with a domestic dog for instance will send them the other way very quickly but i am just relearning the whip right from the beginning and of course there's all kinds of awesome youtube tutorials so i'm learning from some awesome people online however sometimes when people are experts at something they'll forget little details that can that are important to beginners so i thought maybe once in a while i'll sprinkle in a whip tutorial that shows you what i've been learning and one of the biggest fantasies for me is being able to throw your whip out to wrap something and climb up a hill or wrap it around somebody's feet or whatever it's going to be <laughs> so i have been practicing trying to get down this ability to whip out and catch something, especially to be able to haul yourself up a hill is the basic idea that I've had. I wanted to show you what I have learned in case you happen to be interested in whips as well, or you have a whip, or you want to try to do this and you haven't quite been able to get it, there's a little trick to it that might be the reason why. First off is what you're going to try to wrap. So I have a little maple here. And the maple has relatively smooth bark. Now this isn't as smooth as, say, a hickory. That hickory has really smooth bark and it's very difficult to wrap and catch a hickory. When I feel this, it's a little more sandpapery. That's going to be easier. But to start out learning, if you choose a tree like our ironwood, this has really rough bark that will catch the leather of your whip and hold it. When I wrap, I'm going to use a pretty wide angle of attack. So my arm's going to go out and around. Of course, you know, if you've used a whip before, it's going to have a natural fall in this direction. And that fall, I like to have my thumb right on top there, holding it kind of by the ball, thumb on top, and wide, whoops, <laughs> a wide whip out and around. Here it is from this side, wide. Okay, and my whip is gonna end up pointing in the direction of the tree. Don't wanna to try to make a whip sound or anything else, just let it wrap. Now the key to making this work that I didn't hear anybody talking about is that as my whip starts to wrap, I immediately want to pull back and deliver some pressure. I don't have to yank on it, but I'm just going to deliver a little bit of pressure. And that friction is what's going to hold the whip 
around. Sometimes you'll get a beautiful rapid and it will hold itself by itself. But often, you're going to need to have that pressure. And that pressure and that friction is going to hold it until you release the pressure. So often you'll get a wrap, and then as soon as you release the pressure, it's going to fall off. As long as that pressure is on, it will stay on. So the motion is wrap, pull. See that? As long as I maintain that pressure, I've got a nice pull, then I've got a good wrap. When I release it, okay, well that one stayed anyway. But you can see when I release it, sometimes it will fall. The Indiana Jones, flip it up and down and try to get it loose, usually doesn't work if you have a friction-based wrap. In other words, if you're using a rough substrate like the ironwood that has a lot of friction that's going to hold on to the leather of your whip. So your motion is wide, wrap, pull. Wide and side, that's another way to think of it, kind of a side arm. Wide and side, wrap, pull. There, I wrap, had a nice wrap, but I didn't pull in time. And that's what you'll experience a lot when you start this out. It'll wrap, and then it just unwraps itself. It's because I didn't have a decent amount of pull to create that friction. So you can see there, I can hold it, and then when I release, it comes right off. Once you've got that down, you can go out into the woods, you can wrap, pull, and you've got this super cool new skill that's going to make you feel <gasps> kind of awesome. <laughs>